sharing the road with cars that drive themselves. That's the idea Cruz is testing in Seattle. I don't think that's safe for us out here in the road, you know, all the time. That was cool. It's neat. It's uh, probably an improvement on the city. Cruz is a California-based company known for its autonomous vehicles, AVs for short. All week, data collectors have been manually driving the streets of Seattle. The company's CEO tweeting, the manual testing is the first step towards launching commercial service in a new city. Cruise and its robo-taxis have a footprint in several cities across the country. I was just visiting friends in San Francisco, and we were walking in the Presidio, and we were actually on a pretty small street in the Presidio, and all of a sudden, there was a car coming up behind us, and I looked over, and it's like, oh my God, there's not anybody in that car. The goal of these self-driving cars is to increase safety and improve access to transportation, but the AVs have had some challenges. Like in San Francisco, where two driverless cars were involved in separate crashes, one of those cars hitting a responding fire truck. Officials say the passenger inside that car was hurt. Seattleites in a busy Queen Anne question possible safety concerns. What do they do when it malfunctions? The computer goes cuckoo. I mean, what can they do? Can they control it from wherever they're controlling these cars? Can they make it shut off? There are so many things happening in Seattle at any given moment, from construction to community events, like right here at the Queen Anne Farmer's Market. And people are asking, how will a robo-taxi know if there's a road blocked or a full closure? They're not human, so they can't react to those kind of inconvenient situations that we all run into. I always think driving in Seattle is like being in a video game, like, because things are just popping up all the time. Pedestrians are coming out. You really have to have your wits about you to be a safe and good driver. Seattle Department of Public Transportation says crews will need to submit this application for a permit in order to test its AVs without a human inside. SDOT says crews will also be required to obtain a permit if they choose to self-certify with the Washington State Department of Licensing Autonomous Vehicle Registration Process. It is a sign of the future, but I think we got to take steps kind of slowly. While some Seattleites are giving the idea the green light, others are pumping the brakes. Steer a little bit clear. <laughs> what do you think? I'll walk. <laughs> Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News. SDOT says Seattle has a program to add on to existing state requirements for autonomous vehicles. This includes mandatory first responder training and a test driver in AVs while they're being tested.